everyone. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. It has been a little bit since I've uploaded and I feel like the best video to get back into the swing of filming is definitely an empties video. I've asked time and time again and you guys love empties and so do I. It makes sense. We want to only buy things that are worth trying out, right? And so what better way to get feedback and reviews than by listening to other people's experiences with various lines and hearing about whether or not they would repurchase, whether or not it's worth skipping over. If you do find this video entertaining and informative, please subscribe to my channel. I post empties videos pretty often as well as travel content, lifestyle videos, just an inside peek into my life. Not to mention a like down there wouldn't hurt as well. It helps me get these videos out there. And honestly, honestly, the more awareness my videos get, the more I can film because I can then tell myself that I can do this full time. Still a dream, you know? I've been doing YouTube since I was 14, I'm 28. I am not giving up on that full time YouTuber and content creator dream. It is still very much so in my mind it's something i'm working towards but anyways until then let's talk about some trash this bottle was sticking out it's a very large hairspray awesome's mom actually left it and i finished it up lori i don't know if you watch my videos but you left this under my sink and your girl was out of hairspray so i used it this is the purology style and protect soft finish hairspray it is just that it does give a flexible hold but it was still soft i'm not someone who likes super heavy holds. Um, I do want my hair to have some movement throughout the day. So this was good. I mean, it's $12.99 for the bottle. I would repurchase it. I mean, I'm not too much of a stickler with hairspray. I'm happy to talk about this. This might be one of the most controversial opinions. So I'm curious to hear what you think. The Bum Bum Cream is not worth it to me. I tried it, the uh, Sol de Janeiro. Wow, gringo. Uh, I tried this in a holiday set. I love the scent. I love the thought behind it, that it's supposed to help tighten your skin. I do notice a little bit of tighter skin when I apply it, but I also think it's because it's not that moisturizing, and so my skin's drying out, which is what makes it tighter. I don't know, I wouldn't repurchase. Didn't live up to the hype. Next up, I finished a sunscreen. This is the Trader Joe's Zinc Oxide Mineral Sunscreen. It's zinc, you're gonna turn white. Although it did provide me great coverage being a zinc sunscreen, I really don't wanna have a white cast, so I'm gonna switch over. I like the original formula better, but if you are someone who needs more protection, maybe give that a try. I finished my favorite makeup removing balm. This is the Monique Makeup Vanishing Balm. I have repurchased this so many times. If you follow me, you know, I really do speak highly of Monique's line as a whole. Hair care, skin care, wellness, and body, they have awesome top tier products. And if you've not been introduced to the line, please send me a message on Instagram. I'll send you some samples. I'll get you hooked up because this line has changed my life. I've been using it for four years. I swear by it. I've used many makeup removing balms. I've used makeup removing wipes. I've used oils i've used everything this is the best i've ever tried and the reason why i can also say this is the best is just the idea that it doesn't leave film on your eyelids um my girlfriend was using the pharmacy makeup removing balm and she was like dude i can't see after i use this balm and i was like you need to try this so she did when we were on vacation together and she loved it that was her biggest takeaway was that she was able to open her eyes while she was removing her makeup. I literally have a video using Sharpie on my face and applying this after to take it off. It comes off seamlessly. You need it. Next up, I finished a fresh rose deep hydration face mask. This has time release hydro patches, so it's supposed to help moisturize and nourish. I really like the smell of it. It is a rose floral scent, but it was very lightweight. It was hydrating. And overall, I enjoyed using it. You know, I like trying new products frequently so to get me to repurchase something consistently is a little bit of a push because I always want to try what's out there but I would repurchase this in the future and I would say if you give this a try you'll probably like it too. Digging deep here we have the Super Goop Daily Dose of Vitamin C and SPF. I loved this duo. This is great for someone on the go or for someone who doesn't want to take a thousand steps to do their skincare routine. The fact that it merges vitamin C and SPF together into a little serum, it's wonderful. It does dry relatively quick, but still gives you a little bit of a natural dewy finish. And it paired well with my makeup. I would repurchase this. I did enjoy it. I finished a foundation. This is the Maybelline New York Dream Urban Cover. 
This is a full coverage makeup and sunscreen. It has broad spectrum SPF 50. I was in the shade 220 Natural Beige. I didn't like it. I think there's better drugstore foundations out there. I'm happy to have tried it. I actually was recommended from another YouTuber, which is why I think these videos are so helpful, just overall to get a general consensus as to what people like. I'm curious as to if they ever finished this, um, but it was a mess for me. This was an interesting product. This is the You to the People Kombucha 11% AHA Exfoliation Power Toner. I had to go on Sephora's website and read the reviews to see if anybody else's face felt very tacky after using this. That is the best takeaway. It will leave your face feeling sticky and tacky. I do think it's probably a nice exfoliating toner, but I just, wasn't a huge fan of that feeling afterwards, and therefore I would pass. Couple more things left. This is the Wella Skin Food Body Lotion. This was thick, it was nice. Body lotions are body lotions sometimes. And same thing with this one. I took this from the Opal Resort in like Jupiter or something because it was Nest Fragrances. This is the Ocean Mist and Sea Salt Body Cream. Easy to apply, smell fresh. Another small sample is the Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb. This was a very nice texture. It's very soft to apply, left my skin feeling moisturized. I'd be curious to see this in a full size. Last but not least, this Dirty Lumi Head. And the only reason why I'm mentioning this is because a lot of you might be interested in purchasing it. Um, it's from New Skin, so you have to go through a consultant or you can just go on their website. It really just depends if you find someone in your area that you mesh with, go support them. And if not, just you know, go check it out. I do really like the Lumi Spa. It does do a really nice job of taking off my makeup, and I like that it has kind of like the silicone head, so it's not too abrasive. It's very gentle to use. But these things with shipping, just the replacement is over 50 bucks, and I feel scammed. I did not know I would be spending over $50 on a brush head every single time I need to replace them, which is about every three months. By the end of this Lumi, I will have spent well over $1,000 on it, probably with all of the brush heads I'm gonna have to buy. So I do like it, but I just wanna let you know it's expensive. So that's it for today's empties video. I hope you enjoyed and you found it helpful. Please let me know what your favorite products of the month are. What have you finished up? What did you recently purchase that you're loving? Comment down below. Until my next video, I'll see you guys then. Bye. Mwah.